All right, welcome back in. So, toilets. We love them. We're finding things to do with them. How about some edging? So, you want to build a hobbit house, right? Well, what about a hobbit size uh, fencing for your hobbit house? Or what about a decorative fencing, which, yes, I did mess up a little bit. Uh, I left that in there on purpose because I wanted to show you that, oh, man, this is tedious doing these things. And uh, even more tedious doing this, which gives very, very little bit of uh, decoration uh, as like maybe a, a, an edging border for a garden or something. And it's really tedious to do. And I'm going to show you how you do it. It's all done exactly the same way. And so it doesn't matter what you mix uh, between the stone toilet and the wooden toilet. Uh, mix them pick and choose, double thick them if you do it backwards uh, for it, all up to you. And we're going to show you how right now. So you're going to go in here and you want to chunk out however long you can do, but keep in mind you can only hit Y five times. Now what I'm going to do after I chunk this out is I'm going to go back to the small one. Now make sure you're on the tile of what the ground is. There's a reason for that is because of how, if I place this here, do you see how it has this raised square in the middle? That's this raised stuff here. That is not what happens after you hit Y. It is the lower stuff. I'll show you. Let me put this down here. We'll put a block where we can see it because of the sun. Let's go out of here. Let me go to six so I can point. So this square here disappears when there's no border and it becomes this portion, which is the lowered section, kind of this trim right here. That is the actual piece, and that's why this one is showing just a little bit, because the shelf I put down there, I put it a little bit too low, just just a tiny bit too low, or too high, I mean. And it's, it's this, <laughs> this is a struggle with OCD, trying to get this just right. So, we put this in here, and again, I know my character's in the way. We're having to struggle with it. If I were to put this right here, every the uh, toilet seat itself, just like that right there, would show. So I actually have to go down. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down to where it's about maybe right there. Seems about right. So now we're going to get the one out, and I'm going to erase one thing. I'm going to erase both because I don't need that either. Uh, so that gets rid of that, and it's out of my way for putting this down. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you doing this little bit here. This is done the same. These are done the same. But it'll give you a little bit of an idea. Makes it very easy for this video to do just a short tutorial on how to do this. So. We come in here and you've got this. It doesn't matter the orientation you put it, depending on what it is you're trying to accomplish. But I'm going to take this and I'm going to use also, let me show you if I learn how to hit buttons right. I am using this line as my edge and then I'm roughly centering it here. So that, like if you see on these, on this one, see this right here? See how it's roughly against that line and roughly centered. That's how I do it to make it easier on me. It gives an a way to how to how to explain this. Um, have everything the same, uniform, uniformity. That's what I'm more looking for. So roughly centered, come up to that line, bink. So I got one item down. Now we're gonna switch because we want a little bit of a pattern. This one's a little harder to figure out because the thickness of the back is thicker than the wood. So if I put it at the front, it sticks out, I put the back. So I kind of try to kind of center it. Of course, it's really tough to see, but we're trying to get just, well, I think that looks good. Yeah, I like it. So we'll grab another one. We're going to put this. Once again, we're trying to kind of line it up, not over creep it too much. Yeah, I dig that. All right, let's put one more, if I can fit one more. I can, it's gonna be a pain though. Let's see. Not quite as perfect as the first one, but still, I can, I can dig it. So we're gonna leave that there, right there, and I'm gonna grab 
Grab my shelf. I'd like to have my shelf back. Thank you very much. And there you are. So you can see just a tiny bit where even this kind of goes down a little bit for the grout lines. So you can see just a little. But honestly, I'm not too worried about it. And I like the idea of these sticking up a little bit. Now over here, because this is the edge, and it does stick up, it has this little lip, these don't stick up as high as these do. So depending on where you're placing everything might um, change how it looks when it's done. Uh, if you use uh, Ketmol's trick on how to overlap things properly because uh, this is something I found out in my last video and this is something he has recently found out. So when you go to place an item, do you see the white circle? The white circle is what this item is. Now, first off, it's either horizontal or vertical. So shelving is vertical. Uh, regular furniture is horizontal. And then, like I can't put this to the horizontal. And then that white reticle there is where. So if you want to place two items basically on top of each other, all you have to do is use the exact same trick I just did, but lower that shelf just a hair more so that you can get just the right angle to squeeze this white reticle under the one above it. And then you can have yourself, like I, I could, put two of these on top of each other. And that would work out just fine. Now the other option you have, of course, right here I did this into the floor. It doesn't have to be into the floor. It could be coming out of the edge of a wall or something like that. As long as you can hide it, hide the, the look of the toilet. So here, let me give you an idea what I mean. So let's say you want to have, I don't know, some kind of like, how much, how many of these do I have left? I got two left. Well, let's say you want to have something like, like this here. Actually, let's even separate them a little bit. Then what you can do to hide the toilet portion, so this is going to be, let's see, what did I put that of? Regular stone block. Now it's going to be a little bit hard for me to get all the way back there, but like that. And I can even bring those out a little bit further. So let's actually do that. So if I had enough of these toilets to come in here, I want, I want to hide the toilet portion. Maybe like that. Right there. Again, let's, uh, let's give it just a little bit of space there right there and it gives additional details that you can add to your base to again you what we're trying to do is you know we're all building the same things essentially we ha have all the same tools so between my build your build somebody else's build maybe adding these little features here is what stands them apart you know what what makes yours pop versus theirs when you guys build basically the same thing so there's a couple more tips using toilets. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.